Welcome viewers, in this video we will see the starter used in the three phase induction motor. First we will see the need for the starter. Subscribe the channel for more videos and notification. Soft copy of this material available in the drive link is given in the description box. Now we will go to the topic. The need for the starter. The rotor current at running condition is given by I2 R equal to S E2 divided by square root of R2 square plus S X to the whole square. So the EMF induced EMF decide the magnitude of the rotor current this E2 because this second rotor current is depends upon the induced EMF of the induced EMF in the induction motor. But the induced EMF is depends upon the slip of the motor. The slip is nothing but difference in speed between the synchronous speed and actual speed. So at the instant of starting, the speed of the motor is zero. So the slip is maximum S equal to one. Right. So in this equation at the initial the S equal to one. So the magnitude of this EMF is maximum. So S S become one. So the magnitude of EMF is maximum at the starting. Therefore, rotor conductor or short circuiter, large EMF circulate the current in the rotor at the time of starting. At, this, at the beginning, the slip is zero, so it is purely depends upon the induced EMF. So the magnitude of this induced EMF is maximum at the starting. So the rotor conductor are short circuited and large EMF circulate the large current in the rotor at the time of starting. In induction motor, when the rotor current is high, the starter, the stator draws a very high current. So it is about 5 to 8 times of full load current. So due to this interest of high current, it may damage the motor winding and large line of voltage drop. So the limit this high starting current, the stator is used. So the purpose of starter is to use to limit the high starting current. So, there is, so that a, state, uh, a starter is a device which is used to limit the high starting current by supplying the reduced voltage to the motor at the time of starting. So the starter is nothing but a device that is limit the starting current. How it is limiting? By applying the, by supplying the reduced voltage. We need to reduce the voltage applied to the motor so that automatically current taken by the motor also reduced. And this starter provide the protection to the induction motor against overloading or low voltage. It is also used as a protective device from the overloading or low voltage. Now we will see the types of starter. The first type is stator resistant starter, auto transformer starter, star delta starter, rotor resistant starter direct online starter there are five types of starter available in this video we will see the stator resistant starter remaining four types available in a separate video now we'll go to the stator resistant starter so the three resistance are added added in series with the each phase of the stator winding so the stator resistant method mean the three set of resistors are connected to the each phase of the stator winding. I will refer the diagram. So this is a three phase induction motor. This is stator, this is one rotor. This three phase induction motor is connected through the resistance, three set of resistance. So this is the maximum resistance portion. That is the voltage is fully dropped and the remaining voltage will be applied to the stator. If it is placed at the beginning, it is a minimum resistance portion the full voltage will be applied. So initially it is at the maximum resistant position and it is connected to the three phase AC supply through the switch. The stator is connected through the three phase AC supply by the switch and in series with the three set of resistance. So at the starting position during the starting the, the resistors are the, the, the resistor is placed at the maximum resistant position so that the voltage will be dropped across this resistor only minimum voltage will be applied to the stator. So due to the minimum voltage the current taken by the stator also reduced. 
So after that, this resistance is gradually decreased by moving the position from this point to this side, moving in this by slowly reducing the resistance that is moving from this point to this point that is here clearly given starting position. So moving from starting to running position, the resistor is gradually decreased so that voltage applied to the stator is gradually increases and also current taken by the stator also gradually increases. So finally, the full voltage will be applied, full rated voltage and full rated current will be taken by the stator. So initially, the resistor is added. So the voltage applied to the stator is limited in order to limit the high starting current. Thereafter, the resistor is slowly decreased and the voltage is applied gradually increases so that current taken by the motor also increases. I will see the description. Initially, the resistors are kept at the maximum position. Maximum position means maximum resistance. Large voltage get dropped across the resistor. So, the voltage will be mostly dropped across resistor. So, the reduced voltage is applied to the stator. Only the reduced voltage is applied so that starting current also reduced. Right? Because of reduced voltage, the starting current also reduced. That is our main objective. When the motor starts running, the stator, the resistance are gradually cut off. The resistance are gradually reduced. When the resistance are entirely removed, the motor runs at the normal speed. So initially, resistors are added so that reduced voltage is applied. So the reduced current also taken by the stator. Thereafter, resistor is gradually decreased. So the rated voltage will be applied and rated current will be taken and the motor starts rotate at the normal speed. Now we'll see the what are the disadvantages and disadvantages of, of this stator resistance method. The advantages are just simple construction. Only we need a three set of resistors, and and the cheap the the cost is also very cheap because only we need one set of resistor. Can be used for both slip ring as well as screw gauge type of induction motor. It is applicable for both the type of induction motors. But what are the disadvantages? The large power is lost in the loss due to the resistor. Right? The power is lost because the initially we are using the maximum resistance position. The entire voltage will be dropped across the resistor. So the more power loss will occur in the resistor. So due to this full voltage is dropped across the resistor, the starting torque is reduced only because we are, uh, we are applying only reduced voltage. So the starting torque is reduced due to the reduced voltage applied to the stator. The torque also reduced. So in this video, we discuss about the starter for the used for three phase induction motor need for the starter. Why we are using the starter? Then there are five types of available in this. The first type is discussed in this video stator resistant method. Subscribe the channel for more videos and notification. Soft copy of this material available in the drive. Link is given in the description box. Thank you for listening.